Many have heard of John Cabot the Explorer, but have you ever heard of John Cabot the Privateer and his influential family? They are very important people that everyone living in the Essex County area should learn about. The Cabots were very successful privateers, merchants, and mariners who arrived in the great colony of Massachusetts in the 17th century. At first, they settled in Salem, but moved to Beverly when Joseph Cabot died in 1768. Although they were not famous explorers or legendary heroes, we should all appreciate what they did for the Essex County community. The Cabot family's contributions helped Essex County prosper, and their influence helped shape the community. They are vital to Essex County. Through trade with other countries, the Cabots brought in a lot of wealth for the colonies that helped them thrive. Andrew and John Cabot were the wealthiest merchants in Beverly. John Cabot owned privateer vessels, which are armed ships that carried weapons and artillery. George and Joseph Cabot sold dried fish in Spain and the Caribbean. They imported many goods such as sugar, hemp, iron, and sales cloth. Their trading routes spread to different European nations, Russia, and even Asia, but their main trading partner was always Britain. This immense trade brought in resources, new communications with other nations, and wealth. This boosted the economy of the colonies. As Britain started tightening their grip on the colonies, unfair acts were enforced and protests began. Everyone had to choose a side, to be a loyalist and support Britain, or become a patriot and fight for freedom and independence. If the Cabots became patriots, trade with their largest trading partner, Britain, would sour. Knowing this, they objected to the British government anyways. Luckily, they had already earned a large sum of cash from their thriving business, so the Cabots were secure. They also had excellent captains and shares in over 40 vessels, so their enterprise continued to flourish. With their decision set, the Cabots cheered during the Boston Tea Party and sympathized for the people of Boston when the coercive acts were implemented. Andrew Cabot was a member of the Committee of Correspondence and discussed issues of the colonies with other representatives, along with contemplating if independence was the right option. As the Revolutionary War erupted in April 1775 with the Battle of Lexington and Concord, the colonies headed toward depressing days filled with chaos and anarchy. But the Cabots headed towards fame and prosperity. Their privateer vessels were licensed to fight in the war and capture enemy merchant ships. In this way, the Cabots privateered against Britain. Their trade continued to bring in an abundance of wealth, so they decided to build a house in 1781. Their tremendous success and their booming business can be seen in the style and architecture of the elegant Cabot House. This beautiful brick mansion was the first one of its kind to be built in Beverly. The magnificent carved paneling, decorations, and Dutch tiles exhibit the Cabot's riches. Inside are cast iron fireplaces, a rare and exquisite touch to complete the extraordinary decor. There is a wonderful library filled with knowledge and bookcases lining the wall, and a very nice dining room. Today, there are two floors of marvelous exhibits and tours open Tuesday through Saturday. The Cabot House is very special and contains a part of American history. When the Revolutionary War ended in 1783, the Declaration of Independence was sent to Beverly to be read in the square in front of all the devoted townspeople. Beverly enthusiastically supported independence, and a large crowd gathered to listen. At the present day Cabot House, there is an entire room dedicated to the American Revolution and the people from Beverly that fought in it. 
there is a copy of the declaration securely encased with a cover to not allow light to deteriorate it. When Washington toured Essex County to give his thanks, he made sure to stop by Beverly and even stayed at George Cabot's house. The Cabots fought for independence and in their own small ways helped America win the war. With their new bountiful wealth, the Cabots shared it with the community by selling the Cabot House to create the first Bank of Beverly in 1802. At this time, the New Republic was attempting to resolve its money and banking system, so everything was very chaotic. Banks were allowed to print and circulate money. The Beverly Bank significantly helped the economy of Essex County by distributing money. They also sold shares to raise capital that equaled up to $80,000. Men and women invested in the bank. Israel Thorndike became the first president of the bank and one of the first millionaires. By selling the house to the bank for a mere $5,000, George Cabot greatly helped the economy develop. There is still a room dedicated to the bank at the Cabot House. There is a basement, a vault, in cases where money and supplies are stored. The night vault is protected by a heavy iron door and had a ladder so people could climb down. There are scales to measure precise amounts of gold and silver and a stamp press to engrave stamps. Without the generosity from John Cabot, the Beverly Bank never would have been constructed and the economy would have had a much slower start in Essex County. The Cabots assembled other important businesses instead of just the bank. They created one of the first cotton mills, many wharfs, and a rope walk in 1784. These were all very important because businesses helped strengthen the economy after a devastating war, and rope was especially needy for shipping and sailing. By buying land in Newburyport, Haverhill, and Boston, they opened opportunities for others to build businesses as well, along with farms and other needed stores. The Cabots invested a great deal of money into the building of the Essex Bridge in 1783. This wooden toll bridge was essential because it greatly improved transportation. Before the bridge, everyone had to travel on boats and ferries to reach Salem. But after this wonderful bridge was created, Transportation was much more efficient and convenient. Tolls paid at this bridge helped support the community as well. At the completion of this amazing bridge, there was a feast at the Cabot's Rope Walk. Along with other industries, the Cabot's had other jobs as well. George Cabot was very politically involved in Essex County. He was part of the Essex Junta, along with many other members. They were Federalists who supported Alexander Hamilton and opposed Thomas Jefferson. Together, they believed that nations should be ruled by an elected aristocracy of elites. The Essex Junta mainly dominated politics, especially during the American Revolution. George Cabot was loved by the people and became the first senator in the early republic. As head of the Massachusetts delegation, he attended the Hartford Convention to discuss the War of 1812. He was very influential in the decisions of the people and of the United States of America. Everything the Cabots did, they did it to better the colonies as it strived for greatness. The Cabots not only helped the Essex County community, but they helped America.